morning everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my february wrap up sorry it's a little late my vlogging skills have not been the best this was supposed to go up march 4th but it just didn't so i apologize but today we're going to be talking about all the books i read in february i feel like i read a pretty good amount i unfortunately have just not been the best at reading because of classes and things like that um, but yeah, we're just gonna hop into the video. The first book I read this month was actually the last book in a series. It released January 30th or 31st, and that is The Final Offer. I rated this five stars. I think this was my favorite book out of the Dreamland Billionaire series. I really want to read her F1 series. I don't even know what it's called, um, but I think it's like Throttled or something like that. This book was so good. I really liked Cal. I liked Alana. I thought the series was good. I thought the friendship um, that they built or the friendship that they had. Friends friends to lovers to strangers to friends to lovers again. It's, I love that trope. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, I was really excited to see like the final conclusion of this series. I thought it was really well done. I love Lauren Asher. Um, I'm really glad I read the series and yeah, I'm looking forward to reading her other series. I think it's the Dirty Air series or something like that. I don't know. I'll look into it, but yeah, this one was five stars. Great start to the month. Classic Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. I rated this five stars. She is one of my favorite British authors. I love her so much. Um, this one is super short. I read it for an English class. I had so much fun um, annotating it. Again, like I said, five stars pretty good. I had a ton of fun reading the Caravel series. I think that's what it's called. Um, this is the original trilogy and then I'm going to read the Broken Heart, Once Upon a Broken Heart series which follows a side character and I'm so excited because I think he is my favorite character. I don't I don't know. I think he's my favorite. It's so cute. Um, but I actually think I like Donatella and Legend a lot in these series. We also see Scarlet and Julianne which also is super great. Um, but yeah, I I love this series. I rated all of these five stars. I know a lot of people don't like this main trilogy. They prefer the spin-off trilogy or soon-to-be trilogy. I think only two books are out right now, but I personally really enjoyed it. I tended to read this instead of my school readings at the beginning of February, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, again, like I said, read it at five stars. I would recommend it. I loved it. Um, yeah, I definitely was watching TikTok edits and I can't wait to get my paperback version of Once Upon a Heart because I'm going to be reading that so quickly. I actually read a couple stories in In a Glass Darkly by Sheridan Lafanu. I, uh, I only rated The Familiar on my Goodreads, um, so that's a short story in this. But basically, this is just a collection of his works. I think I might actually add this to my Goodreads. We won't add it because I had The Familiar. The, fami the Familiar is a short story that I read. I actually rated it um, four stars. I really like Lafanu. I think he's one of my favorite like gothic writers. Um, because I love Carmilla by him and The Familiar it was also really good. We are getting close to the end. The next one I have is Atonement. I rated this one five stars. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite historical fiction novels. I love this movie. I It makes sense that I would love the book because I adore the movie and just reading the book and seeing how Ian McEwan um, wrote was just incredible. There were so many passages where I was just like, wow he writes so beautifully she was familiar like a sister she was exotic like a lover he had always known her he knew nothing about her she was plain she was beautiful she was capable how easily she protected herself against her brother and 20 minutes ago she had wept his stupid letter repelled her but it unlocked her he regretted it and he exulted in his mistake i just love the writing in this i know we discussed this in class and some people didn't like how descriptive he was um, but I adored it. I love the writing style um, and also the twist of the story and who the narrator is, of course, changes everything. But I think this novel is great. If you're looking for historical fiction, read this. The last book I have on my Goodreads is Gothic by Fred Bodine. I read this almost in its entirety. Um, but yeah, I'm reading this. It's basically the textbook in my Gothic class. I think I rated it like three stars. Yeah, I read it. I read it at three stars because it's just a it's just a textbook kind of thing. It's kind of boring. It repeats the same things over and over. But of course, I had to read it for class, and I think I did learn a few things about the Gothic tradition. Last two books, again, like I said, these aren't on my Goodreads, but I thought I would include them because I read selected pieces from these, um, which is the selected tales of Edgar Allan Poe, and it does have the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym, which I actually read last semester, which is kind of funny. 
Um, but yeah, I love getting books off of thrift books because you would just see like random things like this. Like someone gifted this to someone for Christmas, I'm assuming. Liz gave this to someone. Um, but yeah, I read a few short stories out of this one. And then I also read a few short stories out of the Oxford book of Victorian ghost stories. I actually read a lot of books out of this, so I feel like I should probably count this on my Goodreads. So I don't know. I'll, I'm considering it. But I would probably like rate the stories that I've read out of these two, like three to four stars. Actually, I really enjoyed Edgar Allan Poe. And then um, some of the stories out of this were really good. I'll give you one recommendation. And that is Shadow of a Shade by Tom Hood is I think my favorite like ghost story that I read out of here. I don't know. I would recommend it if you want to read a Victorian ghost story. These are all the books I read in February. My March TBR is going to come next. I am honestly going to be wearing this. I have the time to film videos today. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, but yeah, these are all the books I read in February. Hopefully March is a little bit more fun because we have spring break of course which is coming up i will be leaving in just a couple days when i'm filming this of course um but yeah super excited about that um but yeah thanks for watching this video again sorry it's late hopefully my videos are gonna start pumping out um in the springtime in the summer of course but yeah thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you read in the month of february what you've read in march so far um, because I love recommendations. I love hearing it. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye guys.